Right then, hello and finally, welcome back to the channel. I've been off for a while, got very busy over the summer with work, but we are back. We are doing something I've wanted to do pretty much since I made videos on YouTube. Thought I'd get washed out, but I don't care. We're doing a Chelsea career mode. I'm a Chelsea fan. I've wanted to do this for ages. You can see I've got the home shirt, got the away shirt. When the third shirt comes out, which is in FIFA, by the way, I will be buying that, of course, and that will go behind me too. But I just didn't care anymore. I wanted to do one in my favorite team. I hope you guys are ready for this. It's going to be enjoyable. Let's get into it. I put out a poll before starting recording as to whether or not I should be making signings in this first window. And you lot agreed with me, really. And the answer is no. We're not going to make any signing squads. are going to stay the same. So I'm actually going to disable the transfer window for all clubs. Yes, there's going to be loan players I want to loan out. But quite frankly, we can just do it in January. I'll give them game time in the Cups because I will. Because I want to do it because I'm going to play the game. It's going to be... A massive one so if you load up fever 23 this is what you get as your default chelsea team i am going to of course change that so let's get it looking how i want it there you have it not too much has changed obviously i swapped sterling habits up there habits will be a position change mount will be a position change you've got cucarella down here on the bench who will also be a position change there's not much fafana comes in for asby asby on the bench and I, the bench is really tough i want chalaba really on there i want loftus cheek on there i want broya on the bench as well you've got a lot of loanies down here or potential loanies that I would loan out if I could. Chance of windows closed. I'm not going to be doing it. But we will be in January, of course. Pulisic is going to be good. I think Sterling's might, might struggle. You never know. We'll work towards the first game of the season. We'll do all that. And we'll just get straight into playing it, I think. Over so the first game of the season, then we're going to line up like this. I've got Gallagher in for Jorginho. No pace. I play pre-season off camera, obviously. It's looking like it's going to be good. We're starting on a Friday night. I wish this the, the fixtures were the actual fixtures and not just um, randomly generated ones. They normally do the actual fixtures. But look, We'll, we'll move Newcastle away Friday night. First game of the Premier League season. Newcastle fans are out in force. It's going to be a big one. I'm loving these new cutscenes as well, by the way. FIFA 23 It's ready to go. Let's start this one. I want you guys there to let me know. Do you like this camera angle? This is a new one for FIFA 23, I believe. I can't really remember, but if you like it, let me know. We'll keep it. If not, we'll go back to normal. I like the gameplay here with FIFA 23. It started quite well. Passing is a lot crisper. Oh, Sterling's not got the pace there. That's a foul, surely, ref. Chilwell's won it back. Never mind. And I'm not actually a big fan of this new crossing system. It's a bit difficult. I find it hard to work. And you can see there, I don't do very well with it. Sterling on the ball to turn and face. Here he goes into Havertz now, starting up front. Back out to Sterling. One more to Chilwell. This is good football from Chelsea early on. Finding Mount at the back post straight at Nick Pope. Mount, is he going to use Rhys James? Not this time. He's going to go long towards Havertz. Is he going to get there first? He is head touch and a shot should go in. Here comes Newcastle. First real bit of play. Thiago Silva getting turned by Wilson. That's some good passing. There's a shot. Good save, Mendy. On the edge of the box again. Thiago Silva trying to get a foot in. Shelby out there towards Rhys James. Shelby now. Fafana. Oh, they've been done here and we're in. And they've. The... Wow. Newcastle against the run of play have got themselves a goal. I really wasn't ready. Almiron has been probably their brightest spark. Shelby with a good pass. And we go behind. Right on the half. Stroke of half time really that was for them. That's a good ball over the top from Sterling Havertz. This time he's in. And oh he gets equaliser. <laughs> right on the stroke of half time. And minute over the added time. But that is brilliant from Kai Havertz. Good touch. Good finish. And we'll actually go in level. From thinking we were going to be going in behind at the break. With they scored so late in the half. I'm very happy to grab an equaliser right right on the stroke of half time in added time after added time really very good from us hopefully we can improve because we've not been too great in that second half Graham Sterling now needs to look for a pass to Kai Havertz but his pass has been cut out once again Newcastle keeping that ball Shelby trying to turn they're gonna turn me that's a good strike and it's in Mendy not doing very well there at all and Newcastle go back in front through Jolinson from the edge of the box Bruce James to win his header into Gallagher down to Mason Mount can we skip past target or even just wait for Reese James? That's good. Puts the ball in the box. Raheem Sterling. Free header. Straight up hope. That's not good enough. A couple of changes at this corner then. Kante and Sterling off. Kovacic and Pulisic on. Last 13 odd minutes need to change it. I need runners now. Reese James is a runner. He's always a runner. Really willing to keep getting forward. Back post is Ben Shulwell. On the head. Oh, Pope save. It wasn't going in. Need to go deeper with these corners from Reese James. In towards Kai Havertz. There he's up. Oh, it's off the line. Oh, Mason Mount can't get the rebound. That's as close as we're going to come. Ball into Conor Gallagher. Can he find Kai Havertz? Yes. Can he find Mason Mount? Yes. Into Chilwell. This is great football. Back to Kai Havertz. Get up and win it. Kai. Oh, straight to Pope. And the rebound is saved as well. How have we not scored a second? Not long left here. The ref's going to blow the whistle any second. And I haven't got the football. And there does go the full-time whistle. That is a 2-1 loss despite the scoreboard not working in the top corner. It's not good enough. Uh, to be fair, Nick Pope had a stunner there at the end. And we were unlucky. Not to get ourselves an equaliser right at the death. But realistically, just wasn't that good. 
I'm not good at FIFA 23. We're just gelling as a, as a side. Hopefully we do better in the next one. Next up then is going to be Arsenal. There's going to be a little bit of chopping and changing. I wasn't too gone on Sterling. So Pulisic starts and Kovacic. Gallagher was okay, but it was just one of those things I think I need to do. I've got the back line is the exact same. Jewel James are fantastic. Definitely the best players so far. Hopefully they can continue that form at home against Arsenal. Not going to be an easy one at all this game. Arsenal at home for a second game of the season. First home game as manager we really want to be getting a good result here doing our best of course and of course getting one over on our big rivals arsenal now they're going to kick off the game as long as we get a ball back i'm sure we're going to counter attack as best we can let's go jacker for arsenal finds odegaard is he going to try and go past for Farna? he is but he's not going to manage it that was easy from wesley good there's a mount dropping into a bit of space it's kind of habits going to win that run i don't know but i put the ball over it's looking like he is good head touch and the oh. The volley on his right foot is just nowhere near good enough. So far, little moments like that have been good, but Saka's in here. Mendy saves. They just cut us open as the midfield have gone forward. Daryl Jesus is in behind Koulibaly here. Reese James is our best hope of getting any pace back there, and he's not managed it. And James, James, Jesus has fired one into the top corner. It was a good pass through, and not even against the run of play. Probably within the run of play, they've been better, Arsenal. A lot more pressure from us now on towards the Arsenal goal, which is much more what I want from us, obviously. We don't want to be on the back foot. Pass the ball quicker. There's a half-time whistle. Arsenal are catching us on the counter here. And that is what is going to cause us issues. Is mainly midfield two are both going forward. I've got to tweak something. Pulisic running here. He's gone past Salah, but he's gone past a few. This is a great start to the second half. If Mason Mount would run. Run. Look, you're going to lose it now. But that's purely because you don't make the darting run I need. Kovacic is there. Can he find Havertz? Yes, he can. Can he put it past Ramsdale? Great save. Well in for Farna. That's a great challenge. Mason's there. Can I then again find Havertz? This time he's in behind on his right foot. Second chance. Good save by Ramsdale again. Pulisic going past Saka into Kovacic. Can he find Kai Havertz? Yes, on his left foot. Kai Havertz off the post. And that is a finish and a half to get the equaliser. Took our time. Built it kind of slowly. You won't have seen it. But once we got Pulisic driving, it was good. Let's push on. For the final seven minutes, just making a, bit, a couple of changes and I'm changing the formation. I'm going two up top, three in midfield, five at the back. Let's see what happens. Pulisic had a great game, but it's just a sacrifice for the system. Now, I'm not having a shot here because I'm only going to get it wrong. We're going to pass it around because Gallagher's in a much better position. Oh, what a save by Ramsdale. That would have been what an introduction from him. Hello, Kante. Into Mason Mount. Can he keep that ball? Yes, he can. Into Gallagher. Reese James is there. Split that. What a pass. There's two in the box now. Reese James up towards Kai Havertz. And he's in. He's scored. But he's offside. How was he offside from that cross? What a play that was. Would have been well worthy of a goal. I can't believe it. Not long left. We've had a couple of chances. An offside goal, really, that I thought should have been one. That ball should. But you never know. Creep out of play. Is Saka going to reach it? He is. Chilwell's gone past him. Not right now. I don't need it. Well done, Mendy. Oh, I didn't want to lose that game. 1-1. One, one, I'll take a draw. First point. But you can hear the fans. We probably should have won that game. Goodison Park is the next venue then. And I've decided another switch up in midfield. This probably isn't helping. But we're going to give Loftus-Cheek a go. I like him as a real player. Um, Pulisic obviously starts on the wing. Rest of the team is the same. Let's go. Another difficult game then. We haven't really had an easy start. Some tough away games and a tough home game. Um, realistically... One point out of two so far isn't good. We get another, get four points out of, um, out of nine. I'll probably be happy, happy enough. Anyways, Coleman's already got past Chilwell here. Come on, Benny. Let's get back. That's not good. Chaga Silva's up. Not got there. Good save by Mendy. Pulisic over the top for Kai Havertz. Racing Godfrey. This time, I think he's going to win it. He is. Kai Havertz. But our Pickford's come out. There's a finish. And we go in front. That's good. That's the first time we've gone in front. Kai Havertz is clinical. I'm happy. I'm changing him to be a striker on his development plan. He's doing well. Four goals and four. Here come Everton. Then Gaze gives it to Fafana. Fafana, Koulibaly, Thiago Silva. Not the best at um, reading. Oh, no. The best at reading things, realistically. They are very good at that. But then chasing back, probably their weak point. Oh, but Kai Havertz. What a finish. Unbelievable. 2 nil up. Brilliant ball over by Loftus-Cheek. I'm liking him in the midfield, by the way. And what a finish. I love these new hypermotion, um, what are you calling them? Is that an XG of zero? Was he just not expected to score at all? This is some finish. Unbelievable. What a strike. Corey looking to go somewhere. There's a ball towards Coleman. Chilwell getting back again. That's a good ball in the box. And Everton have got themselves in a goal back. It's just a okay game with five minutes to go to half time. Makes it 1-2. I have it. Shielding. Giving it to Pulisic. Can he find? Oh, I'm just going through to Loftus-Cheek there. That would have been 3-1. I'm sure Loftus-Cheek scores that. 2-1 at the break is good. If I can get another goal, it'll feel better. In Pulisic. Is Chilwell going to overlap him? He is. There goes Benny Chilwell. 
Well, Chile. There's Mason Mount on the edge. That's no, that's Loftus Cheek. But oh, he's won his header. Kai Havertz with a hat trick. Brilliant from Loftus Cheek winning that header on the edge of the box. Kai Havertz gets a hat trick. And as I said, got myself another goal. Feel a little bit better now. 3 1. Loftus Cheek intercepts. Can he find Kai Havertz to run through? Or oh, he's just going to keep it away from Mina. Kai Havertz. Can he find Mason Mount? Yes, he can. Can we make it four? Yes, we can. Mason with his first goal of the season. Good finish, and it's 4 1 before the hour mark. That is surely wrapping up the game for us. Everson now pushing numbers forward, looking to get back into it. And there's a Wobi. He's gone past Koulibaly way too easily. Mendy comes out, and it's 4 2. There we just crumbled. There we've got two complacent. That's not good enough. Off to cheek again, barreling forward, skipping past a couple, and then laying a lovely pass into Kai Havertz. Can he go past Mina? Yes, he can on the edge of the box. Kai, good save by Pickford. That's a lovely run from Loftus Cheek, though. Loftus Cheek, can he clip a ball in? Yes, he can. Head up. Goal. 5 2. Is that Mason Mount again with his second of the season? It is. Lovely ball by Loftus Cheek. He's really cementing a spot there. That's brilliant play from him. Making a few subs. Just want to preserve a few legs. Jewel, you know his injuries. Get Cucurella on for a debut. Abamyang on. And I believe I've taken Loftus Cheek off for Kovacic as well. He's had such a good game. Dwight McNeil now. Koulibaly just missing it. Good block by Thiago Silva. But they've still got a ball here. Everton. Dwight McNeil getting it on his left. Good save by Mendy. It's 5 2 at the moment. I don't want it to be 5 3. A Wobi fires wide. Uses Pulisic. Ah, we probably had a chance for a goal. But I'll take a 5 2 win. First win of the season. Away from home. Brilliant. Kai Havertz, eh, half wearing a bib there. That's very bad, isn't it? Gets himself a hat trick. Brilliant. On to an international break, but really one more game. International break over. Time to play Wolves at home. Let's try and get our first win at home. As you can see, I've switched up the team a good bit. Broyo's getting his start up top. Hopefully he can do the job Hazard. Havertz does. And uh, yeah, we need a win. We've got Champions League midweek after this. Midway through September now as we come and play Wolves. As I said, we've got Champions League after this. I'm resting a few players. Loftus Sheik's getting a start, of course, after his performance against Everton Mount they're absolutely skinning a player giving it to Broya going back to Mount and we've lost it already but it's a promising start now to Reese James into Christian Pulisic oh it's a good turn and the finish is in there yes Christian Pulisic five minutes in he's clinical I like having him there he's better than Sterling he feels better Sterling feels quite sluggish this was quite easy couple of passes into Pulisic touch and a finish good one one nil Pulisic interception it's good Broyer's going, and we're going to find him. Or is Kilman going to get there? Broyer's there. It's a tight angle. We left foot. Not a good shot, but I like to see it. That's a good ball in behind Reese James, but he's always oh, tried his best for Farnas. Not got there. Koulibaly and Wolves are going to equalise. I don't like that little passing. I can't match it. There's nothing I can do with my defenders. There is no humanly way possible of catching that. And Matthias Nunez scores. Off to cheek with a cutting pass to Mason Mount. He's going to go over for Broya here. He's going to beat Collins in this race. He is good touch. Broya, not a good finish at all. And the ball is cleared by Semedo. Mason Mount picks it up on the edge though. He's got space and a screamer nearly goes in the top corner. This ball should go long. I believe there was yet one minute of added time. He looked top corner. That whistle should go as this ball comes off for Farnas head. And there you go. Half time 1-1. One, one. We probably should have held it tighter after going ahead so early. But we're, 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 in, we're on top. Oh, it's a good pass. Shalab has been done. Mendy out, but not out of her feet. And after an hour, Wolves do get themselves a second. And I would say against the run of play again. Pulisic then skipping past Collins. I'm going to have to use Mason Mount out wide. But it's really good running from Pulisic. This is some good running from Mason Mount as well. Broyo's not in the box. I know Pulisic is, though. He's not going to get up and beat them. Is Broyo going to win that one? He's not. Loftus-Cheek. Broya then on the turn, blocked. That's better from us, but we need to be scoring soon. A quadruple sub then to try and change the game for us. Sterling Havertz, Kovacic, Aspi all on. I made changes to try and improve it, and it seems to have made it worse. Things are not going well at all. Rich James needs to win that header and does. Good interception by Aspilicueta, and he's just going to bring it away himself. If no one else is going to do it, he'll do it himself. There we go with Sterling. Look how sluggish he looks, and so sluggish he feels. There you go, Kai Havertz. Should I have taken that on there? No. I should have ran further, absolutely. Kovacic wins his header. Into, Kov into Havertz, back to Kovacic, back towards Havertz. Kai Havertz, yes, yes, yes. Last minute equaliser. And Kai Havertz comes up with the goods. Should I have dropped him? Probably not. That's his sixth goal this season in four games. Unbelievable striker at the moment. Oh, thank God we got that. Ref will blow his whistle here for full time. There it is. It's a point. I still haven't won at home. Of course, I would like to. But thank God we didn't lose the game. Four games. What's that? Five points? Probably not good enough. Definitely need to improve going forward. This is the usual for me then. Four games played. And we may as well see where we stand. See what I mean? 11th place in the league. 
really not good enough. Brighton down the bottom, was that Brighton down there? It was, that's not good at all. Four for us, really not what we're looking for. We would like to be in the top half at the very least. We've got to push towards the Arsenals and the Villas. The only points Arsenal have dropped have been against us, so that's obviously a good sign. Other than that, realistically, we've got to be doing better. I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. I'm finally back. Any tips, any way you want me to change the format? Do we sim some games? Do we do whatever? Do let me know. Absolutely, we'll always take it. Subscribe, of course, if you're new to the channel. Like the video. Champions League next time, so come back for that.